hey y'all welcome back to my channel so i was reading um the bible and just a word came to my mind and i felt like sharing so i was um just doing a little digging about salvation and being sanctified so um i just want to just speak on it a little bit so we're gonna start with salvation so we all um ask ourselves what it is to be saved right we all know you have to accept jesus christ as your savior to um have salvation right so my question is can we save ourselves and if i'm looking down i'm looking down at the ipad so my my thing is my first question is can we save ourselves? That's number one. Can we make it into heaven without Christ? So it says, Jesus answered in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So number one, can we even talk to, to God without Jesus? If he says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That means we can't even talk to God without it being through Jesus. So if Jesus died on the cross for our sins, right? I'm probably even jumping ahead of my notes. Jesus died on the cross to erase our sins, right? So he became sin. When he died, he became sin. And when he died, sin died with him. So we wouldn't have to sacrifice because back then that's what they was doing. Every time they sinned or did wrong, they had to bring a sacrifice into the temple. They had to um, sacrifice something to be forgiven, this and that. So God became that sacrifice. So he died. So we didn't have to. Because the way of sin is death, right? So when God says the Father, the Son... The Holy Spirit. That's the Trinity, right? To know the Father, you have to know the Son. Once you encounter those two, it is then you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. So, yes, we all have God's Spirit dwelling in us, but that does not mean you have the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you can you can know God, right? You can say, Yes, I accepted God. I accepted God as, as my savior or whatever, but did you really, did you really? And I just, um, got done doing a, a, um, a podcast with my friend and we was talking about obedience. How could you know God, but you're not o o obeying his laws? How could you know God, but you don't talk to him? How, how you have salvation? Yes, you accepted him, but did you accept him for him? To know him or did you accept him because you're afraid of going to hell and i'm only saying this because i remember when i first accepted christ <laughs> when i first accepted christ i was young was i still in middle school or elementary and it was a sermon that i heard the sunday before and the next sunday i said listen i'm not going to hell i'm i can't go to hell i can't go down there I can't. So I grabbed um, one of the youth pastors at the time, which became my pastor. Funny story. Um, and I told him to pray for me because I need to accept this God right now because I want to go up there. I don't want to go down there. So I had the urge to not want to know him, but not to go to hell. So is that the only reason why you accepted Christ? It's to not go down there because you still have a lot of work to do, baby. You still have to obey. You still have to have that relationship. And we need to get religion out. Take religion out. Relationship with God. Yep, let's use that R word. Relationship. Not religion. Relationship. So I said you can't have one without the other. You just can't. We see people proclaiming that we are our own gods. We control our own lives and our future. What? What? 
when people say we are our own gods, yes, we have God dwelling within us. We have the spirit of God in us, but we don't control nothing. We don't control nothing. Yes, he give us the free will, but baby, God could take our life like this. He giveth and he taketh. Tread lightly when it comes to God. So it says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 9, For by your grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. So it's, ba it's telling you right then and there. For the people that think that I'm my own God, I'm God, I can do this, I have, I have free will, I can do this, I can make this happen, I can manifest this and that. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 through 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And it's not by your own doing. It's not by your own doing. All right? So this thing say right here, who is Jesus? Who is Jesus? Why did he come? You see, now I'm going back. Now I'm giving you the backstory of salvation and why you even want to get saved, right? So who is Jesus? Why did he come? So we know that Jesus came to wash away our sins, right? So in the old covenant, under the law, the priest had to continuously offer sacrifices again and again for the people of Israel because of the sacrifices, because the sacrifices were imperfect, they never actually fully appeased God wrath for sin. Hence, the need to repeat sacrifice, right? Before Christ, we had to literally sacrifice animals and bring burnt offerings to offer to God for our sins to be forgiven. But even our sacrifices were, weren't pleasing to him. God didn't want to wipe the whole world out again because he did it before. We, we heard it. God wiped the whole world out before and he was going to do it again. He was going to do it again. But he said, you know what? Let me put myself in their shoes. Let me see if I can do it. Let me see if, if it's really that hard. Let me go humanize myself. Come out of a womb. Do what I have to do. Perform miracles. And still die for my people's sin. Because Jesus was pure. Jesus was pure. He humanized himself and became the ultimate sacrifice so we didn't have to die. Jesus, however, was the perfect lamb of God. John 1, 29. The sinless one. He was the perfect sacrifice that God was pleased with. When Jesus died on the cross, the certain, the curtain was torn and separated the people from the holy most place in the temple. This indicate that the man no longer needed to approach God through priests. So when Jesus died, we no longer had to go to priests. We no longer had to um, go to any uh, 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 place to sacrifice anything. It was through Christ, the perfect sacrifice, that all our debts and sins were paid off. So now all we have to go do is get on our knees and ask God for forgiveness through his son, Jesus Christ. We don't have to make sacrifices. We don't have to die for our sins because he already did that for us. It is because of his sacrifice that we have salvation it is because of that that's why we have salvation so to be sanctified right so i went on google and looked what is the definition of sanctified and it said to be set apart or declared holy to be set apart or to be or to declare holy Right in Second Timothy chapter two verse twenty one, it says, "Those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for the special purposes made holy 
useful to the master and prepared to do any good work. In Acts chapter 26, verse 18, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God so that they may receive forgiveness of the sins and place among those who are sanctified by faith in me. To be sanctified, to be set apart, to not walk and be like people of this world, to be set apart, for people to be like, dang, you different. You are different. Why are you like this? For people to be looking at you weird, like, dang, you think you are that? Like, you don't do this. You don't do that. You don't do this. You don't. No, I don't. I can't. I can't. Sorry. I can't. That's that's what your attitude need to be instead of being like, dang, I'm missing out. No, dang, y'all missing out. I can't. I'm set apart. I'm different. I'm type different. <laughs> I'm different. You know? But that's my message. Um short but sweet i hope y'all learned something comment down below anything um if y'all have any questions if y'all felt like i missed something um but yeah <sighs> salvation 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 we just thank god that he came to die for us we thank god that he loved us so much we don't deserve it but he still did it but i'll see y'all next time <laughs>